Hey, 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 it's Shop Talk, baby. This is the show where it's okay to be you. We're talking from Yale to jail and from the church house to the pimp house. Nothing's excluded on Shop Talk. Y'all already know that um, I'm excited because I seen coming to America. Coming yeah. to number two. So number I, two uh, is right. Number two. Ah, number it's two right. is right. Yeah. All right, well, let's just jump. Look, I'm like, let's just jump right into it. All right, Rugo, go with it. What did you think? I thought that given the great things that Black Panther did in 2017, that this Black movie would Panther? Least, yeah, I think that this movie should at least have picked up on some of those notions. What? Um and I, and I just kind of feel like this this is this to me, it would have been better off if they had did it as a series. Some of the tropes that are in this movie are sort of just not timely given the events of like what's happened in our country as far as like okay he gets date rapes and has a baby like really that's what that's what y'all gonna do no that's what wait, gonna do? whoa 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 that's what they did 30 years ago no that you're, never you're missing the me. mark on this one but that was ahead. that was that was retcon that was I understand, but I understand what it supposedly had meant but go ahead uh-huh yeah well I just think like some of the things that are in this movie are not necessarily good at all um especially some of the things they try to make moral points on i think some of the uh betrayals of some of the characters uh, in their um i guess african influence or whatever was this really not done well it is you know i i kind of felt like after this much time to be able to do this movie they 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 made a poignant point in a movie to talk about sequels and reboots and all that stuff and they mentioned like oh you know do you really want do, do people want to see a reboot uh he's talking about american cinema because she likes it and she and then he says to her well it's a whole bunch of reboots and sequels that no one asked for and i don't think anyone asked for this i think i think it is as much as it try to keep keeps the main themes of the first uh coming to america it falls short with being outdated in his in his jokes and in his humor and in his stereotypical portrayal of Africans and African Americans, I thought they could have did better. Go ahead, Nick. What's your he thoughts? Went, he went real deep with just a simple comedy because that's what the first one was. So to me, it was just more or less comedy. Um, so what's the funniest joke in the movie for you? I mean. I uh, can't recall. I don't it. know about any of the jokes, but I mean, I did enjoy. I enjoyed it. It's just, it was something different. It was. I'm not gonna say typical Eddie Murphy because you know, typical Eddie Murphy sometimes his his uh comedy can get robbed. But I don't know about recent years since he's gotten older. But like with some of the things that he's done as an older actor and you know producer and everything, it sort of fits into what he's done lately as of late but i i liked it i really did i liked it it was different it was funny and they did you know try to touch on what happened 30 years ago and bring you know bring to current oh okay i remember okay well, remember when this happened okay yeah now trying to get to the point of how he got the son yes it you know it brought up date rape but you know but i mean that's something real. That's something that people need to realize it happens all the time. So, but I thought it depicted very well, especially when they were talking about remember Cardi B and how she used to do guys and then she would rob them. Mm -hmm. He didn't even remember. Remember, they said it reeks of Simi. This is something Simi had actually done. They believed that. I looked at it as like a reunion. So it brought back the great memories. Of 30 right. years ago, I can't, you can't compare Black Panther to Zumunda. You're right. You because, but, but, but Zumunda They had an opportunity. They had an opportunity. No, to. no, no. They separate. I, I don't agree with you on this one. And I'm not a real movie watcher. But you can't take something that is going on now and compare them. Because he's not. And, and I appreciate it. I appreciated the fact that he didn't go Black Panther, Wakanda because he was Zumunda. He was the prince of Zumunda. Okay. So the, let's the, stick to the, that. 
Then let's look at it from this point then. How come everything about it was Black Panther except for bringing like more cultural pride to it? For example, for example, the, the, the guy who, for example, the guy who was uh, Levon uh, Johnson, he, he was, he had a Killmonger's hairstyle. Yeah, he did have that. Come on. Come on.